chocolate peanut butter pie. So come along with me and let's get started. This dessert, the only part of it that is baked is the crust and that only takes about 10 to 12 minutes. And then the rest of it is whipped up and put in the refrigerator and the freezer. So I have prepared a springform pan. <clears throat> Mine is an eight inch and I have lined it with parchment paper and then I have sprayed the parchment paper with a little bit of avocado oil spray. First step is preparing our crust. Since this is the only baking part of our recipe, we wanna get that in the oven and get it cooled so that we can put in the rest of our ingredients. So in my sifter, I am putting one cup of almond flour. And because our crust is chocolate flavored, I'm going to be putting in two tablespoons of cocoa powder. To the end of our sifting process, I'm going to go ahead and add our sweetener so it can be sifted in as well. I have two tablespoons of uh, monk fruit erythritol blend powdered. So I have melted a half a cup of butter, which is one stick. Just about a third of a cup. I'm going to spoon this into my springform pan and spread it around and get it into the oven. 10 to 12 minutes and that's just going to basically set. Okay, so our peanut butter filling. I have softened four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese in the bottom of a medium sized bowl. And to that, I want to add about a third of a cup of sweetener. This is monk fruit erythritol powdered. I work, I feel that. And we're just going to incorporate that a little bit. So our cream cheese is nice and smooth. It really helps to have a softened product. So the next thing that we are going to add is peanut butter, of course, because this is a peanut butter pie. So I have my three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. I am definitely using creamy in this process. If you were to use, and we are just going to start combining this. So at this point, it's quite thick and chunky. So this is where we begin to add our heavy whipping cream. And we want about six tablespoons or until we get a nice thick frosting. About the consistency that we are looking for. It's a nice thick frosting consistency. And we're going to set that aside while we whip our cream. So I have put on my whisk attachment and now I'm going to whip one cup of heavy cream until it's light and fluffy. We are going to take our peanut butter mixture and add it to our whipped cream and we are going to combine these two together. For our chocolate peanut butter pie. And I'm just going to pop this into the refrigerator and let it continue to chill while we are waiting for our crust to get. I have cool. removed our crust from the refrigerator and it's nicely cool and firm. And so now I'm going to spoon the filling onto it. So we're gonna take our filling and just glob it in the center and then we'll spread it out. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in my freezer for about one hour to make it nice and firm. I'm getting it out of the freezer now. It's been in for a little over an hour and it's completely firm. I have my but it just makes it look a little restaurant fancy and adds to our chocolate flavor. 